where, where are those books? I think we have been doing the revision. Eh? Now, instead of dealing with computer right now, we are going to do the revision on uh, science and technology. See you. Science and technology. On the technology part. Where is the book? One can, you can lend me the book. And I believe those were also in uh, Zangon, they were given these books. Huh? Let me have a book so that we engage ourselves. Please, one book. We are dealing with technology aspect. We don't have it. So it's mine, eh? Thank you very much. God bless you. There were some portions. Yeah, that's what we want to deal with, eh? so that you may not be. Uh, can we start from the past? Where should I start? Which page? That mention the page so that all of us can be reading on the same script. Eh? Page thirteen. Okay, page thirteen. All of us on page 13. Huh? Page? I want that uh, any question that involves technology. Page 71. That's the first place. All right, let's stand there. Page 70, 70, 61. Okay, 60. Someone says 61, someone says 71. Which one? Now? Okay, number two. Eh? All right, let's begin there. Not number two. Number four, I think. Huh? Yeah, number four. Number four. Let's start. Uh, what is word processing? That's the question. Just for the sake of those that understand the technology musician. Technology aspect. What is word processing? Who can tell me what word processing is all about? What is word processing? Now you are telling me that uh, we have not. You have not been taught that. Who said that? I've never taught that. Oh, we are, we are dealing. We are dealing from. Maybe we have some people who may may not be aware or may not be able to answer that question well. By, by the way, how do you normally answer those questions on your holiday assignment? How do you do it? Huh? Either you Google or you... Yeah, you take them from the notes or the textbook, okay? Those are the things that you are referring. You don't just answer the questions as if you had an exam. No, you are not in the exam. That is the time when you are doing research, eh? For things that you may not be able to understand them well you go back and do more revision you study 
and then you go back to the question and you answer. It's not copying. That's a giraffe method now. Okay? Are you getting the point? Yeah. So you are doing researching. That is what we call studying. We are calling it? Study. Study. You are studying. Going back and refer from the notes, from the textbook, from uh, internet, okay? If you are allowed to have one, you Google. See there? Then you'll be able to get a correct answer from different sources. So, so and give you more understanding. You are getting my point? Huh? Because you have all day, all that time to deal with those things. Eh? Lakini wewe kazi yako kuchukua hii kitabu na kuweka kando na kwenda kucheza mpira. Alafu ukija hapa una copy wenzako. And I'm not going to get anything. Okay. Now we are dealing with that. Uh -huh. What is word processing? One of you can tell me what word processing is it all about? Uh -huh. Someone. Yes. Tell me. But we have answered that. Uh -huh. Okay. Composer. Yeah, it's a computer software that used to compose what? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. To create? To create edit. What do you mean by creating edit? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Program that creates edit, save, retrieve, and keep documents. Mm -hmm. I think that one I can pick from there now. Mm -hmm. The program that used to create, to create, edit, edit save, save, retrieve, retrieve and, print and print document. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think you can earn a mark from there. Uh -huh. Someone else? What is a word processing or a word processor? We call it a processor. I talk about processing, word processor. What is a word processor? Yeah, one, we identify it as a software. The way uh, Tracy has identified there. Eh? It's a software that is used to create, to edit, to retrieve. Editing is all about formatting. Eh? So, so. Edit the whole format because you are trying to make changes. Okay, is that true? Yeah, formatting. You know, I'm picking. I'm picking my answer from some of you. You are uh, the way you have answered. Eh? Some of you have had answers. They have talked about so like you. You told you told that uh, word processing is a software, which is very true. I'll pick that one, but the rest to me, James Shakilo. See you. Yeah. Okay. Now we have a program that uses a software is a program that's correct that is used to create, to retrieve, to edit, and to print a document. You are getting the point now? Now that is it. That is exactly how you should answer that question. Am I talking? Yeah. But still, you can go back and check from your textbook, right? So, so, yes. So, we are saying that uh, word processor is a software. When you talk about software, we also talk about program, okay? The software or program used to create, that is number one, okay? Edit, that is number two, uh-huh, 
Retrieve. That is number three. Uh -huh. Save. And print the document. Huh? Now remember this this question, this answer comes from different answers, the way you have answered it. Okay? About us too? Huh? It's as simple as that. If you are you, I could have written this at the back of uh, my science and technology textbook. Exercise book, I know. I know that I am going to be a Another question, number five. Number five, it says, get five learners were asked. Grade five learners were asked. Grade five learners were asked to name the examples of word processing software. Okay? Can we give me an example? Now that one talks about types of word processor. Types. So number two questions were referring to types of word processors software or rather we call it uh-huh another term for square is program. program correct okay so can we name so number two was asking about Type of word processor? Yes. Microsoft Word. Yes. Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word. Very good. Number two, or Roman two. That one should be. Yes. Huh? Or oh, RG Writer. What RG Writer? Uh, come again. Come back. Yeah? Or oh, RG Writer. Mm, not really. I can't get what you are saying. I'm trying to capture what you are saying. I'm trying to remember. Okay, another one. Uh -huh. Open office what? Not open office alone. No, open office what? Because we have so many open office in different categories, like word processor, spreadsheet, and so forth. Okay. Now, what exactly are we talking? Open office for what? Open office. Open office what? Someone? Doc. So, so. Okay. We have open office calc. That one is for calculation. This one is for written document. And this one is used, an example of it is word spreadsheet program. Have you heard of spreadsheet? Spreadsheet. Yes. When you're in grade six, you will talk about spreadsheet, okay? Yeah, practical. Now, that one, okay. What else? There are several, there are so many, like around six of them. He, am I having only Tasha in this class? The rest? Talish or Tasha? Talash. My friend, you need to participate. Uh-huh. Huh? Yes, give it a try. You are speaking. No, no, no. No, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to this girl here. Yeah, yeah, this one, you have talked too much. I want her to say something. Yes, uh, Ramayan. What part? Huh? What part? What part? We have had a leash. What part? 
Talash or Talish. Word bad. Number four. Example types. Uh -huh. We are doing part, partly revision. Uh -huh. I'm writing this for the sake of those who are. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, there were three, yeah? Three. But still we can uh, you can get some more. Someone said open office. Open office what? <laughs> open office door. So you have to specify, okay? Open office is just like a Microsoft, eh? So you have to define Microsoft what? What exactly? What you have to specify it, okay? Yeah, calculus means something else. It means spreadsheet. It doesn't mean a word processor. Okay? So you have to specify what exactly are you talking about. That's why I had to. It's like what open office just like Microsoft. And instead of writing this word, I've written Microsoft. What exactly do I mean? Microsoft has so many products. Okay? You have to specify exactly what you mean. So right, right now, specify this one as Word, Microsoft Word. We have Microsoft Excel. Have you heard of it? Yes. Microsoft Excel. Have you heard of Microsoft PowerPoint? Huh? Have you heard of Microsoft Publisher? They are there. But those programs, they are dealing with something else. But Word is dealing with Microsoft Word Processing, okay? Microsoft Word deals with what? Processing. So, yeah, processing things like letters, okay, documents like letters, memo, even a composition you can decide to type it, okay? That is word processing, okay? Typing a story, that is word processing. You use that program for that kind of a thing, okay? Yes. We will talk more, don't worry. We will share more. Oh, yeah. Number six, yeah? State... The steps follow to create Word document. What are these steps? What are the steps? Yes. Yeah, no, you several. Okay, you can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Section you type what? Okay, on that section you type Microsoft Word. Okay, yeah, you either type Microsoft Word and then you click on that Microsoft Word. Then step to do step two or B. What happened? Uh huh, Tali, Talash, Talish. Mm. Double click, double click on okay. Now, 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 from that statement, you double click the icon. Remember the icon? Yes. You remember that? Yes. Then it's written here, Microsoft. Microsoft Word. I don't know whether it's written 2010 or what. It can be 2010. This one depends on the versions, eh? So, so right now the latest version is 2019. The latest. Even 2023, they are there, but I'm not quite sure about it. Okay? There are so many. But the latest, the, those are the latest, eh? But the common one which we, we are supposed to use on our text is Microsoft 2020, 2010. Much lower than this one. At least use above this one. Then you can use this one. So, so. 
So Microsoft, you bring, this is an icon. This is an icon. The word processing program will open up. Huh? Okay, we are going to do this thing practically this time around. You don't have to worry yourself. Practically. Okay? You don't have to worry yourself. Then double click on the Microsoft Word 2010 document will open because you are told here, step the step to create a Word document. And then from there, you start typing the program. So some of you have. Okay. Okay. Which other page? The uh, which other page has uh, has science and technology? I think we are done with that. Huh? Page. Okay. Let's turn there. From number one up to number six. That's quite. Eh? What are the components of word document? What are the components of the word document? What are the components of the word document? Yes. Huh? Yeah. Very good. Status bar. I think this thing that we are, we are already done. Huh? Access bar. Quick access to toolbar. To toolbar. Mm. Yeah, they are there. Mm -hmm. What else? I think also we have drawn this. Yeah. I've just shown you how we draw and then we label it. Those are the components. Or we rather call them features. Sometimes you use that technology, that term feature. You are using. Yeah. We have features and so forth and so on. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. This board. Title bar. Uh, we have a title bar. Uh -huh. Reborn. Yeah. Some of you as if I'm speaking French here. So, so. And then we have several bar here. Uh -huh. Remember, this is uh, margin. This is margin. This is the paper. This is the title bar. Let's have the title bar there. Title bar. Title bar. Microsoft. Microsoft Word. Then you have written doc document. Okay. This is the title bar. And then we have the closing. Uh -huh. Now this one has five. Uh -huh. What else can we name this uh, the menu bar? This is the menu bar. Home. For? Home. Home. Yes. Home. Uh -huh. Inside. Inside. Insert, not insert page. Insert. See you? Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Page layout. Page layout. Page layout. Page layout. Uh, all. There are all so many of them, okay? There are, there are around six. Six or five menus, okay? View. I don't know. View. Uh, something like that. So forth and so forth. And then down here, I told we have a ribbon. Eh? We have a ribbon. Remember ribbon? This ribbon. This is another tool. Eh? Toolbar. That's a menu. Eh? Another toolbar. Okay. These are bar. These are called bars. Eh? This is a title bar. This is a menu bar. That's all. This is a ribbon. It's also a bar. Sometimes we call it toolbar. Say toolbar. 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 Yeah, those are tools. Eh? You remember, remember, this is word processing program. So you find tools here, tools to deal with different things. Eh? That's how. Those are tools. Eh? Carpenter has tools. Eh? Chisel, hammer. I don't know what what. Leranda. Those are tools eh, for carpenter. Now these are tools you use to create a document. That's how. 
you have formatting bar, formatting, whatever, all those things are here. So this is a margin, this is a margin, then we have scroll, uh, scroll, scroll bar, this is vertically scroll bar, and this one is horizontally. So, so those are terms you are using, yeah? horizontally and vertically, vertically, horizontally. Now, these are containing the component of word processor. All those components combined, okay? They form what we call a word processor program. They form what we call a word processor program. I remember all these, eh? we also, we are, we, are, we are referring to them, they are coded, eh? Those are coded instructions, put them together. Coded instructions. Coded? Yeah. They form a software or a program. Remember coding in grade four? And grade four. Okay, that is it. Uh, so, to, what are the components of one processor? We can just name, mention them, like title bar, typing area. No, that's not a type. We call it a document. Eh? Document area. Or a typing area, okay. Uh huh. That's a typing area. This is the typing area now. That's a, it's a page, yeah? the document area where you type your document. You have title bar and so forth. That's good. Number two, how can one key, how can one key information? How can one key information? How can one key information? Key information? How can one key in information? What do you use to key in information in the computer? Keyboard. We use key to speak with confidence. Keyboard. Huh? Key? Keyboard. This one here. Yeah. Some of you are as if I'm speaking French. This is a keyboard. This is the keyboard. See now. So you key in information. How can one key in information? By use of a keyboard. Okay. By use of a keyboard, type on the keyboard to create the letters or the text. Use the mouse to move the insertion pointer on a specific place in your document. Mm. Press the space bar. Uh -huh. Yes, to create space in between words. Those are some of the things you should lay them down, okay? So, so, yeah. And then uh, uh, present on the keyboard. Yeah. We are not Okay. I think those are some of the points you should take note. You key in, you type. And then, what is insertion point? Wow, that's tough. What is insertion? Insertion. I think we discussed several times. Uh, what is insertion point? Yes. Uh -huh. What is an insertion point? Yes. Yes, uh, Chelsea. I'm going to say, So you share the same mind. Huh? Can you speak? Yeah. Yes, my friend. The area in a document where you provide information is inserted when you start the Again? The area in a document where you add information is inserted when you search. Okay. Insertion point. You see now the mouse. Now, 
the thing that is blinking on the working area, this is the working area or the typing area. If you always blink, eh? So, so. something like that, eh? In fact, it's not like this. Always like a one. Blinking on and off. That is exactly where the casa will start you now. That's a casa. That's a casa. This is a casa. We call this one casa. Now, insertion pointer or point comes. The mouse will always, when the mouse is, it will show it in form of casa. It will always be in form of an arrow. But once it reaches to the working area, it changes its form. Instead of becoming an arrow, it becomes like an one like this. And this one can move anywhere within the document. Now, remember we have a cursor and we have an insertion point. Now, I want to move this insertion point, uh, this cursor, to where the insertion point is. Eh? Maybe, for instance, I need to correct one of the words which are maybe on this part here. So, so, I need to correct one word here. I've written it badly, okay? Or I mis misplaced the word. So, instead, remember the cursor will just be blinking either on my part or any other place. Eh? It will always blink, eh? even if the text are already been typed. It will always blink. Eh? Going from one step to another, a character. We call them characters. So, so. so the insertion point will always be here, around this point. Not the insertion, the cursor. Now, in case I want to move, to change a word, a letter to remove or to add, I will put this insertion in between where I want that word to be reflected. And then I click. Immediately I click, I will remove the cursor from where it is to where I want it to be, okay? And then it will start blinking. So this mark here becomes an insertion point. It's a mouse pointer, but it has changed its form. From being a mouse pointer to become an insertion point on the working area of word processing program. In fact, not only word processing, any other program. It always changes its form. That's all. But it's still a mouse pointer, but changes its form in different areas on the screen. Okay, perform its function. That's all. So that is how we call it. We are referring to it as an insertion form. Okay? Are we all together? Yes. Have you understood? Yes. Very correct. So, so. Yeah. I have I, uh, okay. What else? What else? What else? Number? I think number four just was. Oh. How can one edit a word document? How can you edit a word document? Give me steps here. Yes, can you? I'm only shooting the lash at this kind of fellow. What about you, Ramana? Huh? What about the rest? Yes. Yeah, that one is all. Yeah. Now, when when you want to use it, eh, you put your insertion point. You highlight. You highlight a text. You either need to remove the text or a letter. You just have to put the cursor there using your mouse, using your using the insertion pointer. You move, you edit, you press, you press. You press the backspace, you can use the backspace. Huh? Not only the mouse, you can use the keyboard also. The backspace. You remember the backspace? 
Yeah, you can use the delete key to edit. Delete key is used to erase. So, so words or documents you erase. Mm -hmm. You can use uh, uh, either to do some editing. Either two words have just been joined together. You can put a cursor and then you press the space bar to separate the two words. So that's all. Mm -hmm. uh, you can put your in cursor in between words and then you separate. That's why you already have edited that one. Okay? Yes. Uh -huh. So forth. Use all manner of techniques that is required to do the editing. What is editing, first of all? Who can tell me what editing is all about? Yes, my friend. Yeah, it's an act of making correction. You make changes. You make changes in a document. An act of making change to the document. That's what we call editing. Okay? Yeah. Even a picture. Have you heard of video editing? Huh? Someone comes and takes picture, all the pictures using a video, and then transfer that uh, video to a computer when he does the editing now, okay? What do we mean by editing? Removing unnecessary parts, okay? You remain the main parts, the content, the main content of your video, okay? So you remove some of the parts where people are delaying, no performance was taking place, okay? You erase it. So now this is nonsense. You delete, remove. You join, you go to another place where there are long things, nothing was happening. You move, join, okay? So the main part, that's what we call editing now, okay? You edit the video, remove parts which are, are not necessary for the video, okay? So that is what we call editing. Now, I document it that exactly, okay? You go back, make changes, eh? Maybe there is a wrong spelling. Either a sentence was not done correctly, okay? You redo that that information there. That one, what, what, that is what we call editing. So that's how make changes. Okay. So if you have understood that editing, then you can be able to pinpoint eh, some some of the information related to. It. How can one change the font size? You know font size. You know what a font is. First of all, no. what is a font? You need to understand what font is all about. Okay, those of you don't want that one requires us to do practically, okay? Okay. State the procedure followed when changing font style. Okay, that one also needs to be done. What are the practical procedure if you have done it by yourself? Because you have not done this practically. Uh huh. So at least, uh, at least you have tried, eh? At least I know we all know. But this, these are some of the things that you need to do it practically, so that you can be able to understand it more. So, so I think you have done so much, eh? Number. There's a procedure, font style, eh? Font style. Let's say, for instance, eh? Let me talk about fonts. These are fonts, eh? These texts are called fonts. So, so. If I need to increase the size, eh, I have to select this one, okay? Or to select the whole document. Selecting means that I have to highlight. Any changes I make to a document to a text, I need to highlight it, okay? So making changes, say size, uh, always we increase the size of a title of a document, okay? Let's say, for instance, our title will be science and technology. Let's, let's presume this is a document we have typed, okay? This is topic, yeah? Now, the topic needs to be bold, yeah? 
you need to increase the size. You increase the size of it. So you, as you can see, this one and these ones are not on the same size. See you? Because this is a title. So the title has to have a big font size. So you increase the size of the font. Then where you increase the size of the font. I will show you. Always will be found here. And that is that true? Yeah. And at home we have all those you can increase the size of your font. And then there is a font style. Eh? We have size and style, okay? Style means that uh, you, 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 you have a uh, hand. Yeah, maybe this type of handwriting, okay? That's a style, okay? That's a font style, okay? Maybe there is a handwriting where it's slanting, slanting a bit. Either the fonts are different from each other. Are you getting? Are you, you're getting my point. They can be different somehow, so you need to make changes on that font style. Right? Those are font style. You make changes. You maybe I may need to have a different font from this one. That's all. Have you read a document which has got different fonts? The title has different fonts, and the main course of the document has a different text all together okay so different text is that font style you are talking about changing it can be slant it can be somehow decorated in a special way okay so those are called style okay but the standard eh? the standard document all the documents which are official which you require them to be official they, they we have standard font style okay we call them times roman eh? Times Roman and Aeon. We have names for them, by the way. We have got their own names, okay? But the official standard font size we, we are requiring, eh? they are called Times Roman eh? or Aeon. The rest, they are not official, okay? So you need to take note on that, okay? If you make any official document, the font must be Times Roman or Aeon. Times Roman or Aerial. I think we will stop there. I'd like to stop there. Is it someone else with a question? Any other question? Okay, science and technology. In the space, provide a draw and name parts of a desktop computer. That's correct. Pages 110. Teacher Nancy taught her group five learners about the method of flying. Uh, this one is not there. I think that's all. Eh? Yeah, from there, I think we are done eh? with technology. 102. 102. Someone is crying about 102. What is it all about? What do you understand by the following computer coding language under the Scratch program? Menu. Menus. So minus. Spirit. Okay. I, I think also we lack some some practical lessons. I will do that. Eh? We will tackle all these things eh? during our science knowledge. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good day. Any question? I'm leaving. Bye bye.
you know that we stood that side yesterday. Thank <laughs> you.